Hi, I'm Peter Kreitler. In anticipation of the debris field from the Fukushima nuclear disaster and tsunami hitting the beaches of California, I collected trash from a one quarter mile stretch of Santa Monica Beach over a 90 day period. A daily walk at the tide line offered a vast array of discarded objects that I took home, separated, and cataloged. My intention was to artistically photograph flotsam in order to demonstrate how our ignorance and laziness was contributing to the compromise of the ecosystems that sustain us all. I asked fine art photographer John Rife Williams to do what I could not do. The images he created for the exhibit, This Is Not Trash, are offered to help us all reflect on our individual responsibility to preserve creation for all generations. this exhibit. Lots of these photographs took days and days and lots and lots of frames and going back and forth between what I saw on the back of the camera and what I saw on the monitor. But this photograph was perhaps a little different. One of my favorite little tools to work with when I make photographs with small objects is a pair of chopsticks. So placement of the objects in this in this photograph and this sort of the, the organizational quality was determined very quickly because I was working on a table in my driveway and the sun was setting. So sometimes having pressure behind you, a little back pressure, is the best thing that can happen to you when you're trying to do something because it, it forces you to, to make quick decisions and you don't have time to, to rethink it. So I like that. I love that. And I, that's, that's why I wanted to start with this photograph to share with you because it came together rather quickly. The organizational quality and the, the shadows are, as, the shadows are as, much, as important to me as the objects in this photograph. Working with a regular form and repeating it was a challenge in this photograph. I found this one of the, the most delightful, fun experiences in the entire show. I set this photograph up and then I took a can of air. After I had it arranged and I thought it was just perfect, I used chopsticks to arrange these, these objects just exactly where I wanted. I placed them and I was actually watching through the back of the camera to see where they were falling. Then I took a can of air and I knocked them out of place. And you can see that this is twisted. I wanted, I wanted a sense that this was more of a river, that there was a, there was a flow through this piece that, that I couldn't get by just making it rectilinear, just by having everything line up. So knocking it out, it was deliberately knocked out to, to make it exciting, to make it dynamic for myself, and to take me to a place that I had never been before. So I hope it does that for you.